Where are we going? We started. I think we have. I've, I've stopped the uh, video on, on the page I have up, but I think we've started now. Um, <laughs> What's up, everyone? Welcome to 1CC Marathon Day 2. Uh, got another two days What's up, of this left. Another two full days. I think I'm going to be like gonna be ending a bit later today even because we're starting a bit later um, two full days of arcade games and I'm gonna start you off here with uh, with Dider East's Thunder Zone this is uh, the sequel to Bloody Wolf and this is this is a pretty good commando style run and gun this is this is a lot of fun the whole gimmick with this game is that everything is really big and like in your face and every single boss is the size of the screen and and yeah and we're gonna be playing the Japanese version here the Japanese version is actually quite different to the uh, world version which is called Desert Assault Desert Assault is rebalanced to just steal money it's like super hard if well I don't know I've never really looked into it um, I forget what Jimmy said about it but it's like super duper hard like super broken like you just have to credit feed to finish it, basically. The Japanese version is more proper balance for a 1cc. Um, there's, a, there's a bunch of other changes too, the most significant of which is the fact that the Japanese version actually has hit flash when you hit enemies for feedback. Except, that means that on the gigantic bosses that we hit, there is, uh, it's basically the whole screen is going to be flashing white. So, epilepsy warning, I guess. <laughs> but it's really satisfying, though, just seeing, like, the bosses flash like that when you hit them, because they're so huge. Um, you can see here the story. We're part of a uh, anti-terrorist team, of course, just like the other Thunder game I played yesterday, Thunder Fox. So let's get this started. Thunder Zone. The characters from Bloody Wolf are actually in this, too. But... Yeah, we're going to be sticking with this bandana guy because his default weapon of also the same colonel from, from Bloody Wolf. The bandana guy's default weapon is the heavy machine gun, which is my favorite weapon in the game. So we're just going to be sticking with that throughout the whole game. Urgh, just full screen flash of the, of the freaking wall that we destroy. Okay, Alright. Okay, man, it's showtime. Pretty good voice clips in this game. So this this game just just destroy everything. Everything's huge, satisfying. This this the heavy machine gun is extremely satisfying to use. There's actually a lot of weapons in this game, but I just stick with the heavy machine gun. Like there's a shotgun right there. Like everyone starts with a different default weapon, but there's far more than just four weapons too. There's like a whole bunch of other weapons you can only get in stages. Oh. So here's a big freaking armored car thing. A whole bunch of dudes in it. Um, just, just shooting in this game. You got bombs, and you can also double tap to run, which is extremely important for dodging a lot of stuff. Now this game is pretty tricky to one CC. Pretty tricky. You've only got one health bar. Whoa! I just got hit by that. You've only got one health bar, and then you're dead. There's no lives, so it's very possible to just. Even if you think you're going good, you suddenly get hit by a couple of things and your run is basically over. So, we gotta be a bit careful here. Um, you can actually go into that door in the background there and there's like... a little alternate area that gives you, I think, the homing gun or something? But we don't want that. But it's pretty cool how you go in and out of buildings in some of the areas like that. Just destroy everything. Ugh. These big commando dudes with machine guns just machine gun them. There's a buggy. This game has like lots of like little unique enemies and mid bosses and stuff. It's really cool. Right. Get that. So that's the first food item. We also pilot this helicopter. But the food item that I picked up there, which I guess was like a little water canteen or something. It's interesting because basically every recovery item in this game, every food item is unique. It's like a unique graphic because Dardaris thought that that was necessary to spend development time on. <laughs> That's pretty cool though. Um, 
there is some emulation error in this game with these uh, shadows. You can see the shadow is kind of glitched under the helicopter. And here's the first boss, the screen size tank thing. So, helicopter's dead, let's just do this, and it's dead. Pretty easy. See, every boss is freaking huge. Now, if you play Desert Assault, the other version of this game, the, the English version, there's actually a little extended sequence there where you go into the, a building and, and rescue someone. That's not in the Japanese version. Anyway, mission two, something about a scientist looking dude and crashed helicopter. So we need to find the crashed helicopter. We get some more of this incredible cock rock music. <laughs> Data East actually released a soundtrack for this game. This game came out in 1991. So it's like three years after the arcade version of Bloody Wolf. And not nearly as known as Bloody Wolf, of course, because this didn't have a console port. It's arcade exclusive. Here's a big freaking thing in the ice bloody stage. <laughs> Just big shit everywhere to blow up. And we got these little bikes we can get in. Okay, drops a rifle. That rifle's kind of a shitty weapon. So here's another mid boss. This freaking thing. Oh crap. Alright, uh, get hit. Oh, I wanna take these guys out quicker. Oh, that was close. <laughs> Kinda rough this little bit, like, I've got my patterns down for it properly. But I'm lucky I only got hit once there. Destroy the big glacier. Here's our next food item, the the apples, which I can't get because I scrolled too far down. <laughs> that sucks. This... Get, get off! Throw him! Uh. Okay, let's see if I can... Oh, sh... Oh my god! Holy crap! <laughs> oh. I accidentally picked up the bazooka there and I just had to pick up the heavy machine gun but it's unbelievably annoying to do when you're in the uh, little bike. So luckily I got the heavy machine gun otherwise the run could have been over right there. There's no way I'd be able to do it with the bazooka. Oh, this thing just runs me over. Right, another mid boss coming up here. It's like the third mid-boss of the stage or something. Whoa. Oh, just get him. All those shots. Okay, I want to actually lose my bike here. Can you shoot me? Shoot me again? Please, just shoot me more. <laughs> Can I just lose the bike? Okay. We need to get this guy's salad. So you see, every every food item, like I said, every food... Oh, there is another heavy machine gun there. We would have been alright if I got the bazooka. I forgot. Yeah, like I said, every food item is unique. Count them all. Count every food item in the game. So here's the helicopter. We found it. Now it's time for the second boss. This boss is out of control. The icebreaker ship. Enormous battleship. Just do that. Okay, so very hard boss if you don't know like the best way to go around like taking off his parts. He's got like tons of parts. Very fun to blow them all off. They, they, like ever, like the visual impact of this game, like everything's just right in your face. These huge freaking bosses and stuff, it's so good. Okay, so he tries to drill into the ice. You want to get to about this position. Don't get too close. Stay about here. Whoa, 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 whoa! All oh, those missiles. You can't actually kill that little missile carrier thing. So, or the little missile firing thing in the in the top right there. So. You gotta kind of plan your movement around those homing missiles. Whoa, 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 whoa. Ugh! Got hit by that bullet, but that's alright, those bullets do the least damage. And there we go, battleship destroyed. 
one man destroyed an entire freaking huge battleship. That's what this game's all about. <laughs> and he says that he doesn't see the doctor, but there's penguins around. <laughs> so now it's time for the first bonus stage. Notice we haven't used any um, bombs so far. Okay, hold on a second. We haven't used any bombs because I'm saving them for like the real troll parts later on in the game. There we go. Oh, wait for it. They're gonna get thingy. I'm the red guy. Whoa, 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 Alright, good. <sighs> okay, so there's like a lot of randomization with this mini game. You don't always come first. Sometimes it just trolls you, but luckily that time it actually let me troll. Like, no matter how hard you mash, sometimes it just doesn't let you win. But because we won that min mini game, um, we got three bombs. So now I'm up to seven bombs at the bottom there. Don't get caught. <clears throat> Don't get caught. So there's a searchlight around here that tries to catch us. Um, I think there might actually be an emulation problem with the lighting here as well. There's supposed to be like a faded light, but instead it's just sort of this yellow tint to everything. And you can see the searchlights. I don't think the emulation is correct on, on those. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Whoa, 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 get off me! So if a searchlight touches you, then the machine gun comes and starts following you around for a little bit. And you saw there the fourth unique health item, the wine. <laughs> I'm actually counting them at this point. So yeah, just avoid the freaking searchlights. Because if you get hit by the machine gun that appears when a searchlight finds you, it's actually a lot of damage. There's another bomb, those those big things are a bomb. Oh. Get 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 out of there! Get out of there! Oh, I got hit. <sighs> that sucks. I got hit, but luckily it was only once. Alright, inside we go. Gotta find the doctor. So we're still finding the doctor who crashed from that from that helicopter before. And here we can see the going in and out of uh, background system in in action a bit, considering we didn't get to see it in the first stage. Okay, good one-liner here. Whoa! Ooh. <laughs> I totally forgot about that. The guy, uh, the guy kicks, kicks the chair when you get in if you enter from the bottom there. And it wasn't there, it's actually here where he says the one-liner. Wait. Did he? He didn't say it? Maybe he says it in the next room. When does he say it? There's a full health I just got. Well, not a full health, but like three quarters health, but the med kit. There we go. Room service. <laughs> I knew he said it somewhere. So here's the doctor. We found him. Dr. Brown. But one of the coolest boss fights you'll ever see in a, this genre of game is coming up here. The big freaking death helicopter. So just shoot him, get it away. So this helicopter, this is not just a normal boss fight. This is like a huge set piece boss fight where you're running around the whole roof of this building. So and it's really hard too, so let me make sure I get it get it right, because you gotta destroy all his bits. You gotta destroy the most important bit which I'm shooting right now first. So this this boss fight is just a freaking masterpiece. This is the coolest thing right here. Oh. Oh, I forgot about that attack. Try to shoot this. Blow it up, blow it up, blow it up. There we go. It's like the little missile, the little missile pod. Okay. Okay. That thing there. Whoa, whoa. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Okay, I want to destroy that little gun turret that he's got on the side there now. Okay, good. Now here we need to make his fire get hit across so he doesn't shoot us. Like, luring the fire in the right way. Like, I'm manipulating tons of little things in this fight. It's hard to explain it all, but if you just make sure you take out that... that missile pod to start with 
and you basically go in the route that I'm roughly going to dodge his stuff and to man manipulate where he's firing stuff, then it should be alright. But it's really hard to figure this boss out the first time. So now we're in the corner of the roof. This is the the end of moving around. No more moving around this fight. He's got one more piece up there I want to blow off. There we go. You see, when you touch these, these searchlights that the boss is kind of projecting onto you, if you get hit by them, you get stunned for a bit. So it, and you can't move. So he's almost dead. Huge freaking helicopter. Oh, you get away, we're too close. Oh, just die! There we go. Man, how cool is this game? <laughs> the freaking gigantic helicopter. Okay, so we found the doctor. And now, I think there's the other bonus stage? Yeah, okay, the other bonus stage is like a shooting gallery. So, focus on these guys at the bottom, they give you like, tons of hits. Competing for how many hits you do compared to the other guys. And this one's really easy to come first. Whoa, I hit the girl though, Shh, damn it. Accidentally shot the girl. But yeah, this this one's generally like just super easy, especially if you're half decent at mashing to just, just get this. Oh, you don't even need to be good at mashing really to do this. And come first to get all three bombs. Yep. I destroyed all the other guys in terms of number of hits, so we get another three bombs. By the time we get up to the last boss, we want over ten bombs. Over ten bombs, like, you need a lot of bombs for the last boss to make it safe. Okay, now they're launching a nuclear missile or something like that. Um, so we need, we need to put a stop to that in stage four. Now watch out here, there's a bunch of guys... If I remember right, that uh, catch fire and run at you and do a lot of damage. There was one of those in the first stage. There's a lot more of them here. This is a cool stage, shooting the trees. There's guys flashing, they're the ones that fire, get turned to fire. Whoa. Okay. Apples, they're actually reusing those apples, they're not, those aren't a new sprite. I think they might be the only time that things re reused. <laughs> like a food item. Alright, they bomb that. We actually got our own jeep here now. Okay, so there's, there's another jeep they give you, and a curry. Uh, we want to get hit so that we just get in a fresh jeep. There we go, fresh jeep. Commando Bazooka guys, and another mid-boss here. Let's get about here. So, okay, so for this guy, staying at the top is a good spot, as you can see. Get in front of him here. But he's gonna move back. Oh, he killed him. Now, under, or through the sewers, under the bridge. Alright. Another bit of emulation problem here to do with uh, lighting. I don't know how it's supposed to look, but it's definitely not supposed to look like that, the, the lighting gimmick. But we're going through the sewer. Kill that thing. Those things are interesting, because those things... They weren't in Bloody Wolf the arcade game, but they were in... They were in the PC Engine or Turbo Graphics port of Bloody Wolf, which is a very heavily reworked game from the arcade version. So it's kind of cool that they've put him back in the game. Or put him in the sequel when it wasn't in the original arcade one, only the console port. I'm referring to these big lightning things, by the way. Anyone that's played Turbo Graphics, uh, Bloody Wolf knows probably what I'm talking about, those guys. One of the big things in this game too, you see there's constantly dudes chucking grenades at you. Now you can think you're going good- Whoa, whoa, whoa! You can think you're going good in this game, but all it takes is for you to get hit by like two of those grenades and you're like one pixel away from death. And like I said, there's only one life in this game, so... You always gotta be on your toes, you can't- you can't ever just be completely safe in this game because of the one- one life. Oh, these things that fire chases you around. 
Did you see a lot of these guys on the side that chuck those grenades? Oh, bomb. Give me the bomb. I want that bomb. The big commandos. There we go. Alright, this scene. Now here, we basically just want to run right down and do that. <laughs> and you avoid all these things that appear on the right side, these gun turrets, which are very annoying to kill. So we just ignore all that completely. And now we get in the hover tank. The hover tank with freaking homing shots. The only time this appears in the game. There's food. <laughs> we actually pick the food up in the tank. There's like a little pixel in the middle. Or like a little box in the middle of the tank, which is like your hitbox and also the collision for um picking picking up the food items. Okay, now all these little robot things come out of here. Just You really want to keep uh keep the tank for this section for as long as possible. So that you can take at least some of those out with the tank. But there's still some left. We lost the tank. There's actually like I've never like no damaged up to this point. I usually get hit in that beginning bit, but I've actually taken no damage here in this stage. And I know that because the biggest food item in the game, the tent, which just appeared down there in the bottom, a full tent. We're going camping. Going camping, boys. Whoa, whoa! Almost missed that. The the bomb. But yeah, that tent usually repairs you because you. this is one of the hardest stages and you get battered and you're almost dead by this point because of the sewer and then that other section before before the tent, but I didn't get hit once. So, that's good. Now, here is the nuclear missile that the thing was talking about. It's like a guts missile. So we want to go in the corner here and we want to do this. Very specific pattern for dodging these. This boss absolutely destroys you before you figure out the patterns. But just keep it safe in the corner. This is just a pattern, like a tactic I just developed myself. Just, I kept it like easy to remember. Like I don't know if there's a better way of doing this, but my tactic I'm always just in the bottom right to start each wave. So I just remember always go in the bottom right. Now here, it's a bit more complicated to dodge. The full screen flashing as we just machine gun this thing. We do that, and then shoot it again as much as we can. Up, down, shoot, forward. Okay. Shoot. Okay, down, left. We don't really want to run there. It's actually easier to lure all these things and dodge stuff better just with the normal walk speed. That. Okay, we haven't been hit. Can I do this whole stage without getting hit, maybe? Okay, now here. Here is gonna be the first time where we actually use bombs. Because I, I just, I can't be bothered trying to figure out a tactic for dodging these and it's really hectic trying to do it. So we dodge that and then we bomb there because a whole bunch of homing shots, homing plasma come right at you. And now here, we kind of do this, and then we BOMB because that laser comes at us. We use the invincibility frames of the bomb to finish off this phase, there we go. Now the last phase I don't want to bomb, the last phase I want to do it legit. Because it doesn't take too many hits and you can actually dodge it by doing this. See, very simple, if you just stay in the bottom right, you just have to do these little motions to avoid all this stuff on the screen. And there we go, there's the guts nuclear missile destroyed, it's a pretty cool boss. <laughs> Busted through the enemy security system. And we got 13 bombs now. We got plenty of bombs. Final mission, the fifth and final mission, where we face off against the general of the terrorists. Here he is. Welcome, something something. I guess he's trying to destroy the world with freaking nuclear missiles or something. Yep, there they are at the bottom. Nuclear missiles. And he's flashing for some reason, he's like a ghost. <laughs> Alright. Now this last stretch, this last stage has actually got a lot of cool shit going on in it. Also suddenly like the um, 
the the view of the game's like background graphics is not isometric. It's like just flat top down. <laughs> So it feels a bit more like Bloody Wolf here. All the guns. The, the different guns actually change your sprite too. Like when you get the bazooka, they actually hold like big bazooka over their heads and stuff. Okay, these big commandos just try to run at you and grab you. And new food item, look at that, the full roasted chicken. Let's eat it. Nom 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 nom. Another food item, the bed of rice or something. I don't know, that's probably supposed to be some Japanese thing. And another food item, the gigantic carton of milk. <laughs> it's like over 10 unique food items by now. Okay, now this scene, we want to go right in the center, right in the center, and just run upwards and shoot, and you dodge everything. Keep running up, right in the center, and look at this. Ugh, dodge. It's actually pretty fun to run through this because it's just a whole sequence of doors that you have to bust through shooting. It's really satisfying, just blowing up lots of big stuff in this game. Uh, another one. I had to move there because there's actually that, that previous door dropped a, dropped a weapon upgrade. Well, not an upgrade, but a different weapon. And I don't want that different weapon, so we have to dodge it because if I get a different weapon apart from heavy machine gun, then that's really bad. Uh, you see we're up to 15 supers now, 15 miss, uh, bombs. And here is the computer room. Now I might try to do this without using a bomb, let's see how we go here. If I can do it without using a bomb, fine. If I get destroyed, I'm just gonna use a bomb, fuck it. Okay, so we gotta destroy all the computers. Alright, you see they're running after me? Just do this, just, just keep walking, you don't have to run. All you have to do is walk and you dodge those guys. If you kill them, if you kill them, they, uh, whoa, 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 whoa. If you kill them, they just respawn, so you just gotta manipulate them. Destroy that one. Oh, this is good. No bombs. We haven't used any bombs. This is gonna be a ridiculous amount of bombs for the boss. Not so much for the boss, too, but also for this last area. So there's all the computers done. Two bombs so far. Alright, let's go! Now this, like, auto-scrolling sequence where you can shoot, it lets you shoot and move for some reason, even though there's no actual enemies here. But we jump off, and... The main theme music of the game that was played in Stage 1 makes a reprise here, super cool. And there's a gigantic frickin... Um, radish or something? <sighs> dude, 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 no, 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 let me get that! So, oh my god, I didn't want to take that damage. Did not want to take that damage, that was a lot of damage. I gotta be a bit careful here. I should use some bombs when I need to. Because this this area is a total mess. This is the final part of the game. Big payoff. Big set piece. Um, now there's food there, there's food there. We'll just bomb that, just bomb all that shit on the screen. Now that was really quick, but there was another two unique food items. Just thought I'd point those out. I don't want to get hit by fire guys, they do way too much damage, so let's just bomb again. I have the luxury of bombing a lot here, that's that's kind of the payoff for not bombing for like any of the other bosses apart from the missile boss. Because it's really easy to just want to bomb like the, uh, the second and third bosses, the helicopter and the battleship, but if you don't, you get rewarded by making this absolute mess of a freaking stage a little bit more reasonable. So much stuff. Oh no 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 no! Oh my god, I got the freaking machine gun there. Okay. That was a, a big med kit there, which I didn't need because I was already on full health. This is, this is like the best run I've ever had of this game. I've never taken so few hits and had so many bombs playing through this. Like, this is like a god run. Um, so here he is, he's the, the commander of the enemy army in his big crazy spaceship thing. So what we want to do here is, well, we got 15 bombs. 
So firstly we want to use two bombs to break off his little missile pods on the side. It's basically you need those two bombs to do at least that. Now what we do here is... Whoa, whoa, whoa. What we do here is we want to break off this one. Now this is the only one of these lasers that you can break off normally. If you try to break off the far right one, he just scrolls to the right and you can't do it. This is the only one you can break off with your normal gun without bombing. And we want to break it off because getting his lasers down to 3 instead of 4 is extremely good. Extremely good for the next phase of the fight. Okay. There we go. Now we do this. We're basically waiting for him to go into his next phase now. Let's do all this damage to him. Huge sprites. The power of arcade hardware. Can't do this on a Super Nintendo, these freaking ridiculous big sprites with no slowdown. Okay, so this phase we have to break off his arms. So we wait for the shields to go down and then we do this. Alright. And this is why you wanted to take off that one laser pod on the side before, because it's really hard to dodge through this if it's firing four, but when it's firing three, you see I got hit there, but it's no big deal, because it's a little bit of damage, but if it's firing four, you just get hit constantly, because it's so hard to dodge. Okay. Now, eventually he's going to go to his next phase, where there's just like lightning coming down through the, the middle three like cores he has there. We're trying to wait till that section. Whether we blow off his arms by then or not, it doesn't matter. The main thing is getting to that phase because it's it's tempting to use bombs here to, to break off his arms, but if you can wait it out, if you can wait it out to the, the cores, then the bombs damage more than just the arms. They damage the three cores because the three cores become destroyable once he gets to the next phase. So that should be happening soon. Arms get freaking damaged. How much damage do I need to do? Still going. Is he doing it? Here he goes! Okay, bomb him. It's bombing time. See, now we can shoot those cores. Whoa, whoa, whoa! Shoot him again. Okay, I want that arm to get on the screen. But... Because we went through so much of the game without using bombs, like I said, the reward, now we've got all these bombs for the last boss. Uh, okay, that other arm is gone. Now it's just this center core, which is dead. Now he's going to do this ridiculous attack and just try to freaking swarm you completely. Oh, I got hit. Shh. Okay, just bomb it. These things literally just home in on you. Like, all you can really do here is bomb and freaking hope for the best. There's nothing else you can do. <laughs> Another bomb! He should be freaking dead! Just die! Just... There we go! Dead! With four bombs left, so there was quite a bit of buffer I had there, still with four bombs. Like I said, it was a really good run. Alright, the 1cc and we get the special ending because it's a 1cc. We get a little easter egg in the ending. So... Commander of the army killed him the big UFO thing, everything's good, but... But it's Jaws. Yeah, yeah, bye. <laughs> and this is the ending. The four characters there obviously representing the main characters, the, the playable characters. And we get all these cool little cutscenes showing the various playable characters in, in various poses that look really cool and the different parts of the game all the while at the bottom they're getting chased by Jaws <laughs> advisor Kazuyuki Karada very good advisor there this shot there of that guy with the pistol is really cool you never actually use a pistol in the game but it still looks sick but yeah this this is not the bonus you get for the 1cc. The bonus for the 1cc is after this, so everyone brace yourselves. Graphic designers. Poser. There's the big, um, weird... I guess it's not really a nuclear missile. I don't know what it's supposed to be, but the fourth boss. The big tower thing. And then the last stage, where we jumped out. 
And now, presented by Dutter East. And they jump out and <laughs> try to swim into the sky. <laughs> Game doesn't take itself too seriously. So this is the bonus we get for the 1cc. We get a completely out of place Rambo anime girl. And she says her name is Jamie. You just, like, did the 1cc clear, Con congratulations. And then she says some other stuff. Ciao! She says ciao. And now we get to put in our name, so let's, let's try this again. Thunderfox didn't let us, but let's see if this game lets us. I think it did! Yes, yeah, sex! 5,609 points. And stage isn't all, it's just a picture of the bomb icon there. Alright! We did it! Good! Good start to day two of the 1cc marathon with this incredible game. I like how it just shows you the penguins there. <laughs> so, um. So yeah, this this game this game like rocks. It's pretty cool. You would you would think that it would have been one of those games that got like a port to the Sega Saturn or something back then, but like back when the Sega Saturn like it would have been years later. But the Sega Saturn did that with a lot of other arcade games. Seems like it would have been a prime candidate for a port around then, or even on the PS One, but it never happened. So it's arcade only. But really cool sequel to Bloody Wolf, and pretty unique compared to Bloody Wolf Two. They're pretty different games, even though it's the same genre. But yeah, there's uh, there is Thunder Fo uh, Thunder Fox, Thunder Zone, and next we have SM Raiders, one of my favorite arcade players. SM Raiders, he's a big light gun guy. He's coming up next with Sega Rally and also uh, also um, Vampire Knight, an actual light gun game. Uh, <laughs> which is a really cool game, by the way. It's fully sick. So everyone get hyped for that. Thanks for watching. Thanks for Pasky for putting on the 1cc marathon. Everyone have fun for the next two days. That's the last of my games. I'm not going to be doing any more. But yep, I'll catch you later. And I'll pass it off back to... Uh, or pass it off to SM Raiders.